The race for House District 56 seat heating up, and that includes parts of Polk, DeSoto, and Hardy counties. The current representative will be term limited out, and that pits Polk County Commissioner Melanie Bell up against fellow Republican Jeff Mann. Now, Mann, a newcomer to the political scene, is a small business owner, a former firefighter, and a veteran. And during a recent appearance on our show, he touted his conservative values as one of the reasons people should vote for him. Melanie Bell, however, is certainly not a newcomer to local politics. Again, she's currently a commissioner for the Polk County Board of uh, County Commissioners. She's also served as the mayor of Fort Meade and as a Fort Meade city commissioner. She joins us in studio this morning. Welcome to you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, sure. We appreciate that. You know, it is a big leap from county commission to state representative. Why and why now? I would not say a big leap for me. Mm -hmm. I have, as you know, I've been city commissioner, mayor, now county commissioner for seven years during the worst of times during the recession that we had. And I, I'm, I know county government. I know state government. As you know, counties are a subdivision of state. I'm uh, very familiar with budgeting. So uh, you're telling me that you have the knowledge then that Jeff Mann does not have because he doesn't have that political background, if very you Very much so. I do have that knowledge. And I also worked for the state of Florida for 30 years, had the great opportunity to work for the state of Florida as an auditor with uh, Department of Highway, Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. And during that time, I saw how the budget process worked with state employees along with other partnerships here in the state. The top three issues you feel that directly affect the people of District 56? Economy, education, and infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We are very rural in the heartland of Florida, right. and that would be my District 56. Phosphate industries moving south, so we need to build the economy. And how do we build the economy is by education, making sure that we have an educated workforce, educated uh, pipeline mm -hmm. to fill these positions in order to attract business here to the state of Florida it has to be about education so all education goes around all three I'm very passionate about career academies uh, making sure that our students are ready to go into the workforce Hurricane Irma uh, both Hardy and parts of Polk County really took the brunt of the storm um, I'm wondering what you think what could have been done differently now that we look back at it and what needs to be changed to make the area is more storm ready. Hurricane Irma, we prepared a week in advance. Labor Day weekend, we uh, started staying at the uh, EOC 24 7, watching the storm, thought it was going to go up the East Coast, started turning, came in just like Charlie back in 2004. Polk County did well. Uh, I told somebody the other day I would have given ourselves an A yeah, looking back on the storm. We were able to evacuate the people on Monday before the storm hit on Sunday. The governor came out telling people, get out of the low-line areas, get out of your mobile homes. Our issue that we had was having facilities to bring them to. We had an influx of people coming up from the uh, south uh, end of the county, or south end of the state, I'm sorry, from Miami, because they were told get out so they started coming so the influx of people when should we open shelters that was a big deal for us because we needed shelters for our citizens however we needed to um, have places for them to stay so that was it's probably the number one issue for me especially going to the state we need to look at it as a statewide issue do we have enough uh, places shelter in place to put people and another issue was uh, special needs we tell people ahead of time, go on and register for these special needs uh, shelters. Well, when it came time, people that were on oxygen that didn't register are starting to get fearful. What should I do? And we sent transportation out to pick up our citizens. And by the time we started picking them up, we had an influx of more than what we thought we would have. Let's just talk about your campaign war chest for a minute. Um, the last time we checked, you had twice the amount that Jeff Mann had. Um, he said he wasn't so wasn't worried about the money, but more so the fact that he claimed he claimed that you were having multi-thousand dollar fundraisers while everyone else was picking up the pieces after Irma. Is that correct? Are those no. allegations correct? No, they're not correct. I spent two weeks before the hurricane and after the hurricane in preparedness and, and then afterwards making sure that power was turned on, trees were cleared from roads, and it, my uh, campaign fundraiser did not take place till a week and a half later. All power was restored and, and everybody was back to normalcy. Some 
type of normalcy. I, my campaign was over on the east part of the county, and all of the uh, power was restored during that time. And nobody would want to give to a campaign or attend a fundraiser if they didn't have power. Okay, exactly. Uh, one quick question. We have about 45 seconds, and I know that's not a lot of time. You've been criticized for your lack of support of a broader homestead exemption um, that would essentially give voters the chance to increase the exemption from fifty to $75,000, and that could mean fewer services or raise tax rates if it passes. Is that criticism? Valid. No. I am in favor of a tax break, always. I've never raised a uh, tax while being on the city commission or county commission. However, local government is going to have to try to figure out where this money is going to come from because it's going to pass. I mean, who would not uh, vote for a tax break? So it's going to be back, put back on the backs of local government. And do they raise taxes or do they cut services? And they've got to make that decision. Well, you still have plenty of time. Melanie Bell, Republican candidate for House District 56. We thank you for joining us here in the studio this morning. Thank you for All right. having me here. I sure. appreciate it. Anytime. All right.